All right, guys, um, the injury from the game, Tart had a knee, um, didn't return. Um, Mosley had a back, did come back in. Um, Deep forward right at the end um, was taken out to be evaluated for a head injury. Don't have that yet. Go ahead. John, what, what did you tell your team after this, and just how do you assess where this team is right now after this game? Um, I mean, I'm pretty down on there right now. I mean, losing four games in a row um, over the, you know, it's been a month, um, and that's tough. I mean, it was tough, real the last two weeks, it was in three in a row, and we just added another to it. So it um, doesn't make it any easier. Um, I told the guys they got to be tough-minded. Um, they got to stick together. I think we got guys with high character in there. I think we got a good enough, good, good enough football players, and we got to handle whatever we're going to get, and we got to come back and play better next week for Chicago. Do you think the team has been tough-minded and has stuck together? Uh, has stuck together? Do you, do you think the team, you said you told the team to be tough-minded and stick together. Do you think they've done that up to this point? Yeah, I think they've definitely done that. Yeah, I've never felt anything close to our team breaking. Uh, what's been going on this season with the defensive pass interference penalties, and why hasn't that been rectified after all this? Um, we're not doing it good enough. I mean, that was, you know, it's been a struggle all year. Today was the worst. Uh, it's always harder um, getting your footing out there and stuff, but it is for them also. And um, you know, until the end, until they started making some of those, uh, we gave them way too many explosive freebies, and uh, especially those two touchdown drives in the first half. What did you see in the? but it seemed pretty clear that you couldn't really get anything from it. Yeah, that was a, you know, it was a mess up by us. You know, I didn't see it at all. I'm looking down, looking at the stuff, and we knew that there was a fumble. Uh, everyone was yelling that there was a fumble and stuff and to throw it, and then the, it was very weird, but the headsets completely went out. And that's why if you guys see me sitting there talking to the guys, I was like, I threw it because we thought it was a fumble, but I can't get a hold of anybody. Um, they were going to give it back to me. They said it was all right. Um, let me take it back. But NFL called in and said I had to stick with it. So um, once we talked to them, we knew we were kind of screwed on it. What were the, what were the elements like today, and, and how did that affect quarterback play in Jimmy Garoppolo's play? Uh, I think, I mean, I think we threw to, um, we struggled to throw and catch a lot more than they did. That's what it looked like. What happened on the uh, in the second quarter? Uh, you guys got off to the fast start offensively. Didn't have a first down in the second quarter. What, what adjustments or changes did they make there? That um, nothing. You know, nothing changed fronts or coverage wise the entire game. I think we came out hot the first quarter. Um, I think avoided all those third downs on the first drive, from what I remember. Had the run game going and a few things off of and got the explosives. And um, for about two quarters after that, I felt like it was always three and out. Uh, we couldn't make the big play, whether it was on a pass or a run. And when we couldn't make the big play, it means. Uh, you got to do well on third down, and I think you guys saw that one. I know you probably don't want to make roster declarations now, but four straight losses, do you have to start looking at some personnel changes? Um, I'm, and I think we, we have changed personnel a lot each week in these four games. Um, so I'm not sitting in to go and uh, make something drastic right now. I'll go evaluate the tape and stuff, and hopefully we'll get a couple more guys back this week. But um, we'll look at what gives us the best chance, and we'll evaluate those guys through the week and go off of that. Will you stick with Jimmy Garoppolo as your starting quarterback next week against the Bears? Uh, I, I would guess so. Yeah, I'm going to watch this tape and see if guys are healthy, first of all. I don't even know where our guys are at. It was um, good for Jimmy to be able to get healthy enough to play in this game today. How are you acknowledge the past defense issues? What can you do next? Can you make some personnel changes? Can you change the scheme? How, how can you try to fix those past interference? I mean, you got the guys that you have in your building. And uh, you can just. Every time a guy messes up, you can change and give someone else a shot. But you know we work pretty hard at that, and so do our guys do throughout the week to try to get the best guys out there. Um, obviously, today um, it did not improve. Uh, it's going to be real tough to get guys off the field with those PIs, and um, you know stuff isn't going to get better if we can't fix it. Jimmy had a couple of nice throws in the first drive when he rolled to his opposite side, and then he had the one real strong drive in the fourth quarter where they three passes and you get a touchdown. And other than those two drives, what, what went on in between? Um, we didn't get a big play in those others. We had a couple opportunities for them, didn't get them. Uh, on that first drive, we hit all of them. On that last drive, we hit all of them. Both of them, I believe, we avoided third down on all of them. We got a bunch of explosives, and it seemed pretty easy. And it's tough to get explosives every drive. Uh, we had a few opportunities big time for it. Uh, I think one, we had a legal guy downfield. Um, one, we had a holding, uh, which I think we had Ayuk alone across the field, and uh, it ended up getting tipped with the holding before he could let it go. So uh, you come up short on those explosives. and. Um, when you don't get those explosives, you got to either uh, move the chains running the ball or you got to be able to do something on third down. And we didn't do anything on third down today. Well, like any coach in a four game history, you're getting some scrutiny here. Do you think you deserve it? Yeah, you lose four, four games in a row. I'm the head coach of this team. Um, I expect it and I deserve it. Have you felt like you've gotten a play calling rhythm for a full game this season? Do you feel like that's working out okay? Um, 
No, I think it's, I don't think I've gotten a great rhythm. You know, uh, some of these, you know, I've done on, I think we've done on a couple of drives, uh, but we have not sustained that, and no, I haven't felt comfortable with it. Mitch, we'll spend the second half. I mean, it's difficult. You guys are on the ball. What's that? What did the Colts do in the second half? I mean, it's difficult for you guys to run the ball. Um, I mean, they were playing eight-man fronts all the way until um, until we scored on that drive with those, I think, those three passes in a row. Um, and they were doing eight-man fronts the whole game until those last two series. And uh, when you do that, you got to cut somebody out of a gap. I don't think we did a great job of doing that, and uh, we couldn't get through that front eight. Kyle, you said Friday, I right know. Um, if the conditions, you know, uh, were gonna fi- who they were going to favor. I mean, they outscored you 30 to nine after things got really, really bad out there. Why do you think it was that they were able to function so much better in that? I don't know. They did better in the rain. I don't, there's not one answer for that. You know, they got 53 guys. We got 53 guys, and um, they obviously handled the conditions better. Mitchell got off to such a good start on that first drive, and it just didn't seem like he got the ball repetitive. Do you wish he got the ball more as the game went on? Were there certain plays where he said, "I should have ran him instead"? Um, you know, when you go three and out as many times as you did, there's going to be a lot of things you wish you did more. Um, but I don't think we got those drives. Um, I felt like we played in the first quarter, and I felt like we played in the fourth quarter, and everything in between seemed like uh, we couldn't make a big play on first or second down, which does happen. But you got to move the chains on third down so you get another set of calls, and we didn't do that. How do you think Jimmy played, and did did you think he was hindered hindered at all by the calf injury? Um, it didn't look like it to me. You can ask him on that, but I, I didn't see that, and um, I think the whole offense and the whole team didn't play good enough. How do you feel Jimmy Garoppolo's decision making was today? Um, I didn't think there was a ton of bad decisions. Just missed some throws, and um, you know, and obviously the ball got away from him a few times. Why, why do you think there, there's such a gap between? first explosive drive you had in the last one where it was three plays and everything seemed seamless? Um, I mean, we went three and out, so we didn't stay on the field. So that would be, um, you know, you got to get a first down to stay on the field. And we got a number of explosives early in that first drive. But everyone out, I think we went three and out. It felt like five times in a row or something like that. And um, when that happens, there's, you're not going to see anything. You're going to see three plays and no first down. Kyle, going back to, to the PIs, does it make it even worse that those aren't young guys, you know. Those aren't rookies who are committing them. These are veteran players who should be able to have that part of the game down. Um, yeah, rookie, veteran, whoever. Um, you know, especially when you have it on some third and longs and stuff. Um, we can't give them the freebies. We got to make them earn it, and we didn't always do that. Take two more. Did you say it's more execution, a lack of discipline, and things that aren't working with the offense? Um, I mean. It's a lack of discipline when you get a couple penalties. I mean, we we can do better at that. Um, you know, there's times I don't think we throw and catch very throw and catch very well. Um, and then you got to make some big plays, which we had a chance in the run game early on, but we didn't get that going for you know three quarters after that. So it's a combination of everything. You mentioned you you would guess Jimmy Garoppolo would start next week, but what's your process going to be over the next few days when you you try to make that determination? Um, that's like. I got a whole team to worry about. I'm not just thinking about what the quarterback situation right now. I'm going to evaluate everything, see where our team's at, um, see what gives us the best chance to beat Chicago, um, and see what our options are. I mean, that's what you go into each week, finding out your options. We had two quarterbacks who were hurt in this week. Um, Jimmy was able to come back and play. We'll see if Trey can next week. Still not sure yet. Um, but I got a lot of things to figure out. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so the Niners fall at home to the Colts. Colts played very well in the range, drew a lot of pass interference penalties. That was a lot of the center of uh, Coach Shanahan's press conference. He's obviously not happy with the penalties or the way that they pitched it or caught it uh, in their pass game. So what does this mean going forward? More straight ahead right here. Yeah, HQ. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.